Kevin Durant is one of the top five ball players in the NBA. With a trip to the finals under his belt and three scoring titles, it's hard to say otherwise. But what does KD do in his spare time? Well, Nike shorts, fresh with the polo shirt, flip flops, snapbacks, chicks and sour look at thirst. I catch my whip in this cruising down ocean drive, punching on the waves in the boat, make the ocean cry. Yes, the Oklahoma City superstar has thrown his name alongside the likes of Shaq and Allen Iverson as an NBA all-star who raps. Though it seems the difference here is Durant's not awful. Vibe, as well as others, give Durant the stamp of approval on his new track, Whole Life, and also some recognition for bringing local Oklahoma City artists along for the ride. KD also released the track, Rolls Royce, with Oklahoma MC Privilege. You know, I started to build a passion for it and start to try to make beats and, you know, rap a little bit just to have fun as a hobby, and then I met them two, they kind of, you know, made it more serious for me. But KD is not alone. The list of NBA players who have tried their hands at rapping is long. And ugly. There's the finer things with Steve Francis. Tony Parker on top of the game. And everyone's favorite kids movie. Those babies had rabies, and we was in Hades because we moved with the harem of the Prince of Bobby. But to be fair, there have been some decent attempts from NBA players to enter the rap game. New York Knicks' Iman Shumpert released a mixtape in December 2012, which led ESPN to ask, is Iman Shumpert the best athlete rapper? Also, Philadelphia 76ers guard Lou Williams has appeared on multiple tracks with Philly MC Meek Mill. But who's to say this trend would have even gotten started if it wasn't for the one and only Shaquille O'Neal? Shaq Diesel, released in 1993, was the first ever rap album released by an active pro athlete. Driven by everything but the track list, Shaq's debut album shot to the top 30 on the Billboard charts and eventually went platinum. As for Durant, no album plans yet, but we're pretty sure if Shaq can go platinum, so can he. For Spin Media, I'm Jamal Andrus.